As much as Gorilla did a good job with the rest of the menus, the inventory turned out pretty bad. The inventory section is broken down into 8 tabs. Every tab contains piles of the same 2D cave painting like icons we've seen in the HUD and skills sections previously. Although I completely agree with using simplistic iconography in those cases, it really doesn't work well for the inventory as it detracts from the value you associate with your items and gear. Let me explain this using Scott McCloud's method of breaking down visual communication. It all revolves around meaning and the methods of conveying meaning visually. According to Scott, realistic illustrations restrict the role you have in interpreting the meaning of a visual element. Your eyes do most of the work and you just look at the picture and understand it immediately. The more simplistic the illustration becomes, the more role you have in defining what you see. In case of a stickman build of dots and lines, you are the main element in defining who or what that character is. Along this axis, you strip away details without stripping away meaning itself. For example, this is a detailed depiction of John Travolta, and if you completely strip details away, you arrive at the stick man depicting a generic human. At this point, your brain fills in all the gaps that you need to understand the concept of this human. You basically use your imagination. Now, if you start stripping away details and meaning as well, you progress upwards in Scott's system. Just after you pass Picasso's highly abstracted geometric paintings, you will eventually arrive at the generic shapes devoid of detail and meaning. At this point, you might be asking, how is this important for Horizon's inventory? Well, Horizon uses icons that are simplified depictions of the items you're collecting. A big portion of the game revolves around hunting machines and animals in search for loot that you can use to craft and trade. As most of your loot is depicted in this bare bones abstracted way, a big portion of the looting happens in your brain, and that's not good at all. This is a case where the more detailed depictions you would have, the easier it would be to assign value to your items. And essentially, that's what loot is its value. Although they have tried emphasizing relative value with green, blue, purple color coding, visually there isn't much of a value difference between a rabbit's pelt and the heart of a giant robot T-Rex. Not to mention, your weapons all look quite similar at a glance. The things you should be most excited about and should drive you in collecting more loot and money are generic purple bow number one and generic purple bow number two. Although to their credit they have included 3D renders of the weapons in the lower right corners, but this feels very much like an afterthought. To make things worse, the icons are single colored. The reason this is so heartbreaking is that we get a glimpse of what could have been if we take a look at the ammo section. By the simple addition of one color, you immediately have an easier time identifying and evaluating what you have. This is where I would like to note that I'm not criticizing the work of the illustrator who's done the iconography. In fact, I think Lizzie Wanders did a wonderful job on Horizon. I recommend you check out her work. My critique is about the strategic choice of using these types of depictions instead of more realistic ones that would more easily convey the the value of your items. Other great RPGs use simple iconography to point you into the right direction, to tell you which menu you're looking at, and when it comes to actual items, you get to see a more detailed illustration of them. But visual communication isn't the only downfall of the inventory. The other big problem is the information architecture, or simply put, the items are horribly categorized. This is the broken down site map of the inventory. You have weapons, outfits, modifications, resources, treasure boxes, special items, ammo, and traps and potions. The weapons tab is structured fairly well. So is the outfits menu, although I've found that both hold a limited number of items. The modifications menu is okay. It needs to hold way more items and it does that well, although it took me a while to understand the difference between coils and weaves as the difference is visually poorly represented. Basically, one is for clothes and the other one is for weapons. But the next section is where it all goes wrong. The resource menu can be defined by holding everything else that isn't in the other seven menus. This means that it often holds up to 100 plus icons that range from machine parts to animal pelts sticks, herbs, meat, valuables, fast travel kit, and so on. And each of these elements are further broken down into variants. Fox pelt, rabbit pelt, watcher lens, long leg lens, tiny meat, fatty meat, and so on and so forth. Basically a complete inventory inside of your actual inventory, but without any categorization. Everything is just thrown in with no rhyme or reason and no option to sort by any aspect. It's a clusterfuck. Add this up with icons that don't help you distinguish between items, and you're in information architecture hell. The next tab named treasure boxes just puzzles me. It basically holds boxes that hold more of the stuff that you already store in your resources and sometimes modification tabs. But since these boxes just offer more of the same things I failed to attach value to previously, it basically acts as a buffer storage space. Once you open your crates, you pour its contents into mostly the resources tab, further adding to its chaos. You get these boxes as rewards and they basically play on your instinctual attraction to mystery. Now where's my boat? Oh, hold on. You have a choice. You can have the boat, 
or the mystery box. What, are you crazy? We'll take the boat. No, 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 not so fast, Lois. A boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat! You know how much we've wanted one of those. Then let's just... Well, take the box. I know every game has them, but in most cases, that's how they make money through microtransactions. In Horizon, the boxes are a bad game design choice, and they just shouldn't be here. Going on, the special items tab holds your collectibles and quest items. And it does that well, but I'll come back to why I think it's a bit redundant in some aspects. But what is 100% redundant is the ammunition tab. It's a display of the types of ammo you can use. You can't craft, select, drop, or dismantle them here. You can only look at them. Even even though they are displayed every time you open the weapon selection circle, the weapons tab, or the actual ammo crafting tab, this is taking up precious UI space that could have been used to better showcase your actual loot currently held in resources. And last but not least, we have the potions and traps. Here you can see your potions and traps. I mean, good job, no comment really. Now what I really don't wanna achieve with this is just point out faults and moan about them. I want to add value to these observations by prototyping solutions to the problems I've just raised. So here we go, this is my shot at fixing the inventory. I think the main culprit is the resources tab. I'm not going to attempt to change the iconography and we'll assume that it's absolutely necessary in order to maintain visual unity across the UI. Assuming this, the only thing I can change is the categorization. It's obvious to me that we need more space and more structure in the way the resources are displayed. To start with, I would do away with the ammo tab as it fulfills no essential purpose as explained before. I would also do the same with the treasure boxes, although at this point the game designer would probably have a nice sit down with me about why I want to remove complete game mechanics to fix UI. But I believe this too fills no purpose and wouldn't break the game in any meaningful way. And while we're at it, let's also remove the special items tab as the collectibles displayed in it are displayed in the notebook section and the quest items could be moved into the quest log. By clearing up three categories, I can now easily distribute the contents of the resources tab into at least three different categories to at least help the player navigate through the heaps of loot they collect. After shuffling the items around, I arrived at this system. I would differentiate between trophies, resources, and valuables. I would put lenses and hearts into the trophies as they are machine parts that are rare to come by and pose the most value to the player as they are often required by merchants for trading for better weapons. By putting these on a pedestal, I artificially give them more value as I'm telling the player good job in getting one of these. The resources tab would hold everything that you use for crafting. As there's quite a lot of things you can craft, it's still going to be a bit of a mess. What we can do to avoid this is include sorting by either a name, source or value. But for the sake of this prototype, we'll just have them separated into their own category. And finally, valuables. These are the things that can only be sold. There's a surprisingly high amount to them and they have no other purpose. This categorization would also enable you to quickly sell them in bulk instead of sifting through everything to find these. To recap, by removing treasure boxes, special items and ammunition, I have split the previous resources tab into trophies, where the player can go to pat themselves on the back, resources, where you would keep all your crafting materials, and valuables where you keep your soon-to-be-sold goodies. So that's my proposition for a better inventory in Horizon. I hope you liked this video. I'm interested in what you think, so please let me know in the comments below. And if you've not seen my general look at Horizon's UI, check that out right here. Thank you very much for watching.